they'll be thinking oh you just had a baby and you're talking about depression take away that spirit that spirit is not of the lord take away the spirit it's not of you know Hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mabel and here on my channel i film about family relationships beauty and lifestyle i also like to share my opinions about certain topics that i see online social media and i kind of find interesting and maybe want to share my opinion i also do vlogs on my channel and i just basically share knowledge on things that i think you know whoever is watching me would enjoy and probably learn from me so hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to our channel thank you for always tuning in if you're new here and you just see me for the first time welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel okay because here on my channel we learn we share and we have fun yes we do in life we get prepared for so many things i mean from when we're born we get taught how to walk how to talk how to sit, how to stand. You know, most of us even go to school real early in life, maybe at two or three or age four, where we, you know, start learning how to probably prepare for the future, just to ensure that we get successful in life, especially in career and generally in life, basically, yes. So we get prepared for all these so many things, okay? Some of us even go as far as getting prepared for marriage, especially like those who believe in and who do premarital counseling, okay, yes. We go to classes, we watch movies, we watch teachings, we read books. We learn from those who are ahead of us and probably who are doing marriage well. But, you know, we just do all this preparation and get ready just because we do not want to fail in these things. Yes, but there's something I'm going to talk about today. Yes, that I feel like we do not get um, prepared enough. At least for me, I feel like. I don't know i don't know maybe we don't just get prepared enough because we don't know how much the gravity of what we're going to go into in the future you know we don't know the gravity of it basically so, so i feel like there are all these many things that we get prepared for enough and there's also this other aspect of our life that i feel like yes even if naturally you know we get to know we have the understanding and all that but i feel like we do not prepare enough for this phase of our life maybe because we don't really understand how difficult how severe or how sensitive this phase and stage of our lives is will be or can be okay yeah so you know what and the phase of life i'm talking about is the phase of motherhood yes i always say no one ever told me how difficult it is to be in the hood of mothers okay yes you know i always say that motherhood is the only hood that hoodlums or gangsters cannot survive in okay yes so that being said you know i'm talking about motherhood i feel like motherhood is a phase of our life or is a place in our life where we get to or a point that i feel like nobody really prepares us enough okay or is no one ever told me really how that phase or the phase of motherhood will look like will feel like will actually be in reality okay yeah you know how you get married and then one minute after getting married everybody expects you to get pregnant and in the next second they expect you to have a baby already okay so you know that's just life but then why everybody expects all these things from you nobody actually ever prepares you enough for motherhood for parenthood nobody ever really tells you in reality what is expecting or what comes with in the hood of mothers okay yes yeah. so today in this video i'll be talking about some things that i feel like no one ever told me about or maybe i was never prepared enough for certain things that i have seen experienced and most people also experience in motherhood okay one of that will be pregnancy okay yes i mean the whole thing the whole challenges the whole blessing the whole package of pregnancy okay yes you know you know yes like i said earlier when you get married uh, the next minute people expect you to already get pregnant but nobody really tells you how pregnancy really is and what pregnancy really does to your body as a woman okay nobody prepares you enough nobody warns you against this 
phase okay this journey yeah okay because pregnancy comes with a lot of things you know pregnancy comes with you know body changes eating like that's the last meal you're going to have, ever have in your entire life you know pregnancy teaches you like all the emotions that you feel when you're pregnant you know sometimes even the like the experience you have when you get pregnant is one that usually people would never understand even if you explain to them and when i say this is because you know the way one person feels when they're pregnant is usually not the same for the next person and even the feel the way you feel for this pregnancy as a person might not even be the same way you're going to feel when you get pregnant the next time okay yes so i feel like nobody really really tells us or maybe nobody really told me how difficult pregnancy is i mean carrying a baby okay nobody really tells me or nobody ever prepared me enough for you know the period of pregnancy in my life okay talking about pregnancy nobody also ever prepares us enough for you know the phase when we are even trying to get pregnant i'm saying this because you know as humans you know as everybody once you get married the next thing everybody's watching out or looking out for is you getting pregnant or you announcing that you're pregnant and all that but nobody really ever sits a couple a woman down to tell her that you know when you get married there's a possibility that you might not even get pregnant immediately nobody ever tells us that there's a possibility that you can you might not even get pregnant in the next one two three years nobody even wants us or tells us that even if you get pregnant immediately for the first child it might take you one two three four five even longer than you expect to get pregnant another time so i feel like not just getting pregnant but even the process the journey the stress and everything that comes with getting pregnant nobody ever prepares us enough at least no one ever told me okay because i know i've experienced everything that i've said now because between my first child and my second child i know you know the journey that i went through okay because most people wouldn't even know most people see you and just assume things you know with my first pregnancy i think after marriage i got pregnant like I, when i say immediately i mean immediately okay but after the first pregnancy i know what i went through before i even got pregnant for my second child okay yes you know i remember when i was trying to get pregnant how stressed i was all the many ovulation kits I use and all that. So generally what I'm saying is nobody really prepares us for the journey of pregnancy or even the process of getting pregnant. I mean the emotional ups and downs. You know how people will tell you, oh, don't worry, take your mind off it. You, know, you cannot take your mind off it, okay? If you want something, you're going to think about it until you get it. So you know when people say, when well, you're trying to get pregnant, take your mind off it, da, da, da. I think that is almost impossible to tell a woman who is waiting or trying to get pregnant to take her mind off pregnancy. I mean, you know, when you're trying to get pregnant, right, you're hoping that the next month you don't see a period, okay? You don't see your period. And then the period comes the next month and then you're all heartbroken. Your emotions are everywhere and all that. And then I, I always ask myself, how can somebody really tell you to take your mind off the process of trying to get pregnant is almost impossible and these are the things that i feel like you know in marriage especially as a mom or in the journey of motherhood or trying to be a mother i feel like these are the things that nobody really tells us or that we don't get prepared enough for just because you don't know how your own will go after marriage or after the first child or after the second child or after whatever phase you are okay so that's one of the other things that i feel like no one prepared me enough for okay especially in my journey as a mom as a woman and in marriage okay yeah another thing i feel like no one ever told me or maybe i didn't really understand the intensity of it especially in the journey of motherhood is delivery labor having a baby okay everything that comes with it okay i'm saying this from a place of experience because i've had almost with all my pregnancy i think i've had different experience with labor and i feel like no one ever prepared me enough or i didn't know enough about you know delivery child delivery labor prior to when i had my personal experiences okay yes so i feel like we don't get prepared enough we don't get thought enough about the labor process okay you know we don't get thought enough we don't we don't get thought about the pains nobody tells us about the intensity of the pain nobody tells us about how you know the pains 
the pains after even having the baby the heart those who have experienced childbirth you know and the tear that comes with having a baby i mean especially for most women during their first labor at least after their first pregnancy and delivery i know i remember the time when i had my first child like i mean a day or two or three after my baby i remember sitting down was like a chore like for me to sit down i had to calculate in my head and then i have a process of how to start to sit down just because the pain that i went through <laughs> the pain that women go through after having a baby it's one that nobody really tells you all that comes with having a baby labor delivery okay so the pain the tear the healing and everything that comes with delivery, labor, and all that, nobody really tells you. And I'm saying this for just one set of women, okay? Because the childbirth happens in so many ways, okay? For those who have their baby through CS, I'm sure that is a different story, a different... Because I've been in a room where someone had a baby before via CS, and I've watched how some of my friends and close family members have healed for those who had their babies during true cs and i can tell you neither this way or that way is easier okay every way is every way like this method is as difficult as this other method okay so i feel like we don't get told enough or we don't get you know we don't get prepared enough for labor delivery and all the things that come with it yeah yeah so that's another thing nobody personally warned me about or taught me about or told me or warned me against you know before i had the experience and nothing i feel like people really don't talk about a lot especially just for me being born and raised in an african society basically i feel like we shy away from the topic of postpartum depression okay yeah growing up and just seeing people have babies around me i i would say i never really heard people talk about postpartum depression enough as compared to when i moved to the u.s and i started seeing people have babies or maybe i started having friends who had babies and then i had my baby too and then i understood fully what postpartum depression is of course i went to a betting class before i had my first child so i kind of knew i was familiar with the world and then what it meant and all that but having the experience i feel like people don't talk about it enough especially in africa or maybe you know not just talking about it enough you know how i believe that if as a woman i have a baby i'm just saying personally back home most women feel depressed okay they have the whole postpartum depression but i feel like they shy away from talking about it because of the way they are going to be perceived like they're going to be um People are, people are going to you know react to them saying they'll be thinking oh you just had a baby and you're talking about depression take away that spirit that spirit is not of the lord take away the spirit it's not of you know i mean a typical african family or a typical african society would not want to even listen to a woman saying she's depressed after having a baby because they feel like because you had a baby you automatically have to be happy the whole time i'm not saying that when you have a baby you don't you're not happy but i mean your hormones are still trying to balance out you know everything is around you i mean I've had this topic with some of my friends not very long ago and I told them how when I had my first child or maybe my second child, I don't even know which one, my mom always was here when I had my babies personally and she usually would keep the baby at night and then I'll, you know, sleep in my room with, with my husband at night and I usually would express, you know, breast milk and then I'll probably store it or send it to my mom to feed the baby. Shout out to my mom. She's the best mom ever in the world, okay? So I remember telling my friends that one night, when I was expressing, because, you know, mom had the baby, Chris was by my side there sleeping. I got up and I was expressing. I remember out of nowhere, I just turned and looked at him sleeping and I just got frustrated. I'm like, wake up. I remember waking him up and he's like, what's the matter? I said, sit up. And he's like, what's the matter? I said, I'm here expressing, trying to get milk out and you're here sleeping. Why are you going to be sleeping? Da, 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 da. Like, I mean, the emotions that went through me that day like thinking about it now i'm like where did that come from or how did that happen but you know chris being the person is he just got up no complaint he sat i remember him sitting and i kept telling him you cannot doze you cannot doze your eyes have to be open i mean <laughs> this is my reality okay and these are things that when we begin to share them and talk about our reality others will learn from it and get encouraged you know so basically i feel like no one really talks about 
postpartum depression enough surely from the society that i come from or i feel like i never heard it or no one ever told me that anything like that existed all i knew is you get pregnant you have a baby baby is healthy you are fine everybody's happy basically that was what i knew growing up so i feel like that is one thing in motherhood having baby being pregnant that no one ever told me about last but not the least of the things that i feel like i wasn't prepared enough or no one told me about in the whole journey of motherhood is breastfeeding and this one here is the main reason why i'm doing this video today because this month is breastfeeding awareness month okay yes on my channel here i already like did a video talking about breastfeeding you know and all that i'll leave a link to that video in my description box please watch that video because there's a lot of information that i put out there about breastfeeding in that video okay but that being said i feel like no one really prepares us enough uh me personally no one really prepared me enough about breastfeeding of course i've seen people have babies i've seen how they breastfeed children i know in my mind i know how to hold the baby i know what to do when i want to breastfeed but no one not even my mom told me the pain that I would experience in the first couple of days after I've had the baby when I start breastfeeding my child. No one told me about the pains that comes with breastfeeding. I mean, you're going to be breastfeeding and you're going to be crying at the same time. Like I was breastfeeding and I was crying because the pain that came with breastfeeding, I mean, from being having cracked nipple to just the pain. And the funny thing about motherhood is this. Despite how much pain you're feeling, you still want to ensure that your child is being breastfed properly, that they're having enough to eat, you know. Just to think that I'm able to breastfeed my child is enough joy to complement the pain that I feel when I breastfeed my child, okay? So, no one ever prepared me for that pain. That pain, you see this pain I'm talking about? I'm glad you're hearing it here, okay, if you've not had baby before, but trust me, you can only understand the pain that I'm talking about when you actually feed a baby, especially if you're a new mom and if you're a first-time mom. At least being a first-time mom, it was, it was something else. But having breastfed before with the new baby, I knew that that would happen, but at least in my mind, I know that I had already ex experienced it before and I was expecting the same thing to happen. But you see that pain? that pain when you first have a baby newly especially for first time moms and you're breastfeeding your child i mean there was a time where i would breastfeed and i'm crying and my mom be like it's okay after like a week or two you'll be fine and i was like what do you mean who's gonna i'm after this i'm not doing this and then the next time i'm eager to feed my baby and all that but basically i just wanted to come here and share a little bit about the few things that i feel like i personally no one told me about or maybe i was told or i knew about it but I didn't think it was that serious you know especially in this hood of mothers okay so um tell me what were the things you experienced as a mom either during pregnancy during labor or after having your kids even till now as the kids are growing up what are the things that you have experienced or that you're experiencing that you feel like no one told you about or maybe they told you or you were not aware or you were aware but you didn't know the, the seriousness you know that came with what you thought you knew okay yes I hope I make sense because I know I just said like this line of things that anyways, I just wanted to come here and share with you a few things about motherhood, getting pregnant, being pregnant, going into labor, delivery, postpartum depression, and most of all breastfeeding. Okay. This is um, breastfeeding month. I thought I'd just create awareness on my channel here and also tell you if you have a new baby and you're breastfeeding, kudos. If you also have a new baby and you're unable to breastfeed, kudos. Okay. No matter how you do motherhood, you're doing your best. All right. All right. That being said, I have come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up, like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.